They've got sandbags as well. Zipex attempts to draw fire, but he loses his life. Masuta handing out a couple as well, and that surely falls already into place for this T side. Lucky to stand and deliver. He's going to get overrun. He stands and strikes for the first, but that's all, and yeah. Magisk hard pressed to find a 1v3 here. Vitality, do they even commit while the smoke is up? I think they'd rather have sight. Magisk, oh, spotted and damn that hurts. A quick dink on the jiggle. Bomb planted for an extra 300 for Kyojin. So no complaints at all. Vitality take our pistol. You can see right there when the x ray is off and we know just where those players were. Magisk has no idea. The smoke starts to fade and the initial thing is a goosh, right? You can just see on point a Vitality right now. And it's a hollow feeling right now on this Astralis side of things. Right, all this legacy, all of that. If you've missed Counter-Strike for the last two years when we shifted online, I understand, but you're missing a lot, right? And it's just, it's hard to watch. It's hard to see. It's hard to witness here, but we'll just focus on the Counter-Strike in front of us for now. This is going to be the Force Bite coming on through here for the Danes. Lucky holding on to a bit of extra cash to facilitate that orb. And we start the walk up towards A. Through the smoke they go. And the pressure early. Glaive not ready for this, or is he? One and done. It's going to stall out again here as Vitality just going to take their time with this. Yeah, understandably, justifiably so. Vitality's T side are very, is, is very, um, not, I'm, I'm not using the right word when I say one dimensional, but uh, maybe find a better alternative. They're talking, uh, what I'm trying to highlight is that they are quite stubborn in their A commits. They will just sit ramp wait 45 seconds and then eventually commit with two smokes and a plant. It's almost retro vertigo uh, on their T sites at times. I don't expect to see the B site occupied early. Yeah, they just, it's the same as what we saw in Nuke where they would just chill out in lobby. So imagine right now this A ramp control is like lobby on Nuke. They wait out all that util, they see if you're going to push the issue with some aggressive flashes and maneuvers, and then if you don't, they have the sharpest tools in the shed of these youngsters. Kyojin, short, he's new, but Masuta is another one of these sharp individuals, and they don't get the fights their way, the util drops, and now they're gonna walk on in. There's no fight available. Flash of the skylights could be possible here from Dupree. Another smoke down now. And these are the nades they need. We're gonna Just see more late. Of. Yeah, absolutely. This time around, a bit late. Retake smokes out, they're gonna go for this. They better have their lineups ready. That smoke is intimidating. You can peek around it. Lucky can get up on the headshot box. Kyojin running out of bullets, needs a fresh mag, and this frag is everything. Masuta tested and found. Kyojin re-advancing, not letting him have any space in a quick three-piece. His vitality second. Astralis, uh, what I want to say, though, is that the stack nades, the, the, the denial, the extending in the, behind the smokes and incendiary onto that default plant, those aren't going to be compulsory if Vitality keep testing you in that capacity. I feel with the way that Vertigo's gone now, if you're going to play Vertigo in that fashion, passively on the CT side, without trading a couple of kills or forcing out Util for the Ts early, you're going to lose more often than not. I think that this map now on the CT side over towards A, you can put the fight up early. If you lose that control, you still need to stay transitional. If you give up that space, you're just asking for it here. And round number three, well, they've invested lightly. Four HEs in the hands. This one destined for some damage. Yeah, as soon as they show on the stairs here to the USP of Magisk here on the ledge, they will throw out those nades. Ooh, Ouch. A bunch Ouch. of damage. They all connect. <laughs> that will humble Vitality a little. It's unfortunate that it is just USPs. Another dink coming on through here. So lots of damage done. It's just shocks on full HP. Keeping them on their toes there. Glaive playing the sound cue game. He fakes the steps. Keeps Kyojin on notice. This is like what Na'Vi did yesterday to NIP. It just felt very default heavy. And backing that their individuals are better. That's what it feels like from Vitality here. On Nuke and, and now within the early stage of this, just backing that the individuals are better. Now this, this nade... Hurt. This really... Oh! oh. Could have hurt. Dupree... Hiding in plain sight, Zipex contributing with that USP. It's getting costly. Dupree, two on the P250, and he's dancing with Zywu. He could find a third. He needs a fresh clip. Can't finish the job, but he's given Glaive something workable. Okay, Vitality, damage control.
They get away with that, but they came in with five AKs. They leave with two. Imagine Astralis that just nade lands. USPs. Imagine if that nade from Lucky lands. Right, that that right there as an isolated thing, it's not a big deal. But in the context of how close that round got, that is a massive deal. The trajectory looked bang on for their entrance upstairs. Could have been a boatload of damage, and they'd already done. So much with the utility alone here. That was such a light investment for Astralis. But here we go. The guns are out. Lucky into the AWP. Two-man mid-control taken here. Dupree on the other side of things. Lucky, he'll post himself up. The one-way dropped. And you can just see posturing now for control everywhere. Shocks flashed in. B lobby. Already in the hands of the French. Different flavor to this already from Vitality. You can see the mid-hold. It is just the information on Dupree. Apex, no stranger to his solo projects, but it's the order by which they take this space that is interesting. It's looking like they could pounce for a B split here if they do find an opening kill. Two towards B lobby, two towards mid. But the notoriously underchecked corner of Magisk. He's been forced away. The util barraging. I think he's got a good idea as to where that sandbags player is. Oh, this is huge! Got him! Opens up the account onto A. Spots how lucky. Could get clothesline from the short side. And Zipex does post it up. They were trying to pivot back and now scooping up the bomb. Pressure mounting in mid as well. Kyojin has a sight line over that smoke and could catch that rotate back. Unless they root nav and navigate through ZT spawn. Up the stairs. Mad just goes forward on this. He can disrupt. Hunting for Astralis' first hit early on the defense. And Masuta keeps it competitive. Zipex left alone. He will contribute the first of the 1v3. Can the Clutch Minister pull Astralis into their fighting ways now? The answer is a bit shy of the mark. Masuta got brought down to just four. But commits to the duel. Vitality extend their lead. That's great as well here for Vitality in the early stages because what they're doing is they're playing with the mid and the B bomb sites, right? Well, mid's not a bomb site. The mid corridor and B, right? They did that B fake that had the gap in middle is where they tried to take space. But the fact that Apex is able to slink past, he sees that smoke drop, he punishes it and gets a massive kill. That throws the entire round up in the air because they're taking fights on every single front. So massive issues for Astralis going forward here is they're just going to operate with pistols alone. And you like that from the French. Similar to what Copenhagen Flames were doing on Vertigo just the other day, but Apex stops Glaive, and we know that he can be a nuisance aggressively behind the smokes. If that's a fight that Apex can continue to win, it's a massive one to win. Yeah, and the dreaminess of this as well is that they've avoided all of that chip damage, I say, as they catch one between the wickets, but... They used the CT smokes, a nice little wall to retreat behind after taking the initial engagement. Armored Deagles. A man disadvantage, everything indicating this one not going to be fun. Now they faked the extinguish to imply there's still Sandbag's presence. This is going to get a bit awkward here. They're pushing forward. Yeah, and it's up to Apex. That could be enough. Yeah, looking the wrong way, pulls out his nades. The classic in-game leader, Death, and Zipex hands two more into the feed. His Deagle finds three. Shock's taking some space. They're dancing with each other. Backs are turned. Shock's to win the round on this. And Dupree turns just as he needed to. Another Deagle frag up to Zaiwu now to finish the job. He'll stop Zipex in his tracks on his three. Knows where Dupree is. It's just Majesty the unknown entity. Yeah, and he's got the bomb on his back. 30 seconds to solve this riddle. Oh, timing. He might want to walk on through elevator room. He is. Majesty, how deep is your clear? 20 seconds, Magisk has got a bit of paranoia about the walkthrough. That's the check. Guess the info. Zywu pulls up his socks and sprints. Util present. He can smoke him off. Does he just rush the plant? They could be there in time. He just goes straight for it. Bomb down. Smoke out. He's running, getting run down. He's going to have two targets trifling with him. And that's a nice round out of Astralis. Just the Deagles. Zipex starts. Magisk and Dupree finish. Has to be that Dupree kill right there onto Shocks because you're right, it could have been round winning. Two kills in the back for Shocks were available there, but Dupree with the heads up nature turns in the nick of time, gets that kill. And Zywu does his very best to get the bomb down. But just like that first map of play for Astralis, the rounds have come through pistols, right? They've come through the lighter buys and the chaos. It's when the guns come out that they seem to struggle a little bit more so. But there have been a couple of close ones here. So not smooth sailing so far for the French. This is the shots from Zip. So they catch Apex with those nades out and flick around in time. It's chaotic, but these are must-hit kills and huge stuff from Zip there as they all line up. 
<laughs> yeah, not the most glamorous 3K, but I'm incredibly uh, influential. Oh, this is Glaive up to his regular tricks here. Push past. Lucky needs to be careful here. Oh, and Saiwoo just sees him straight on through. Excuse me? He must have seen just a little black smudge because that was all he needed. Over the top of the smoke. And now the mid space, the four on five. The disadvantage, Astralis. Really feeling this one now. Someone has to step up to pull that back. A very deep ridge smoke that Saiwoo is attracted to. He tucks in. He's being a little rascal around this. Glaive. Would he expect this? He's clearing. He's clearing. Zywoo, not ready. Glaive, a huge contribution, but that's not enough to secure the round. You can see the pressure is on. Zipex is doing so much work. He's taken two, or at least one and a half down. They are wrapping into Magis' sight, and he is standing to deliver. All three on the deck sends them home. Big from Magisk and Astralis. Now they've got the cash injected into the system. Vitality, quite the contrary. This gap will now close. Just to note, that's the first time we've seen Magisk within this series getting fired up there on the cams after those three kills. He's yelling. They're starting to get this one going, and they have to. Very, very dire circumstances ahead of them here, but very good stuff to handle that. And you can see it getting out of control. They're going for the mid to B. Zip slows it down. Magisk here able to deliver with the AK-47 and then head on the swivel. See him flicking on over to deal with the last man of shock. So beautiful stuff. And now we can start having a conversation. Are the Danes here to play? This is their third on a silver platter. Just the pistols. A couple of P250s. Primarily Glocks for Vitality now. Yeah, I mean, not only have they won the Deagle round, Chad, they've done it with a 4v5 disadvantage there. Yeah, this one here, just keep as many alive as you can right now. And Glaive going looking one more time. The early frag coming in his favor. That's going to be two. And well, the third not going to land, but a lot of damage done to Apex here. There's an M4 there if you're brave enough. Yeah, good luck, have fun. They want to take the fight here, the Danes. Oh, the double incendiary. Not. Oh, goodness. Yeah, um, no fun. Uh, no fun allowed. Lucky. Finish the job, farm some confidence, and there you have it. 369. Damn you, fine. 900 bucks in the bank account. Well, CT sided AWP could come out here. Glaive could drop that across to Lucky if they want to start playing with that now, but we're going to see an indication of. Yeah, the rifles. So they're going to want to continue to be up close and personal, taking that space away. If they continue to push like this against Vitality, they're going to need to put more bodies over towards that forklift room to stop that or be more aggressive early. And their util right now doesn't reflect that they have too much. It's not full nades for anybody. As the French leaves spawn, shots with his standard Lurk Smoke over towards B. It's going to keep the Danes guessing here. And the boost up and over. Apex having a look. He might find Glaive over the lip of this. Yeah, Glaive's going to have a bit of a sight line if he tucks in close. He'll see Apex as it fades. He might just throw a couple of stray bullets if they start to unload, and he might now with Crane taking engagements. This is threatening. That's, That's a lot oh, of damage deep. from the bullets. Finish and combined with Zipex double. Apex just not long for this ramp progress. They're not letting him out of the initial smoke. Look what's left of Vitality. And a smoke to stare at if they want to return to the B site. Magisk already oh. looking good. We'll have to check in on that utility damage early. Oh, easy peasy. Look at that. Second through the smoke. Now they're feeling themselves. And one of the keys here for this defensive Astralis is they're not giving the room to Vitality. They're stifling them. They're forcing them to come on through these smokes, thinking they're being given a little bit of respect. But yep. great stuff now. Astralis, 500 utility damage combined. Well over it. And that's just in eight rounds of play. The nades are good. This right now might be something a little bit quick out of Vitality here. They've just gone for some Tech Nines as a CZ in play, but it's just these pistols. Now a fast mid, you break the windows, you use the sound cue. Now, not going to stick to their guns. We know they like a couple of deep smokes. You can see Apex lining something up. Zywoo does the same. You can throw these out from back over towards T-Spawn, and you can sell a bit of a fake on A. Now the dramas with doing this is the forward positions of Astralis know that there's not a whole lot coming over towards A, but they're taking mid. Oh, he's flubbed it there. Been a couple of those. You know, the pressure of the land environment being felt. Now they're just going to try and skyrocket out mid. Yeah, and that's a quick one. Kyojin, however, has returned the favor. He wants to take some elevator jewels. It spots out two. There's multiple targets. Zywoo slipping in the back lines, but they saw they did catch a glimpse of him. So good luck. Have fun. Glaive will hard clear you. Oh, maybe not. A chance. A small one. Goes awry. Glaive will find his ninth. And okay, Astralis taking the lead. A big component of that is Zip. 
He's been on that A defense again, swinging in for multi-kill after multi-kill. He's the second component of that ramp defense. We saw him spraying down too. Respond to this one quite nicely. A fast mid with the pistols. You can see how quickly that could get out of control, but they do mop this one up. No dramas whatsoever here for the Danes. And then now we look back. No T side op, no CT op. So a Vertigo without the big green in play. Smoke lands, and behind it, you can see just a couple of extra bodies here for Vitality. Rally of nades back and forth, and this time chunking them down again. Apex down to 74. Might smattering for the other two. Molly as well, they just continue to harass right now. So Australia is starting to get their game plan going. Dupree active. Oh, Kyojin gets info. You see his mouth moving. Trying to perhaps punish the absence of this A defense, but they're making no secret that they're standing and fighting Glaive. Let's put two magazines, make it three into the smoke. He's only going to have 30 bullets left, Chad, at the end of this. All right, well, you better be reserved with that for the rest of the round, Glaive. Well, you can understand right now why they've waited out these A ramp smokes, because we still have about 55 seconds left on the clock, and they have plenty of utility to start working up towards A. Glaive, no longer confident to stand and spray behind that manufactured wall. The flash, they know the steps are coming. If they clear Lucky with a molly, he's going to be in a bit of strife here, Lucky. Yeah, he has to go. He has to go. He takes the risk. No one's watching, and that's lovely. Vitality. They're getting re-aggressed on here. Sharks could be the first victim. Takes a shot. Glaive connects. Glaive delivers two. And Astralis looking to lock it down. It's only Zywu. He just doesn't have the time to find this clutch. Zipex sight. Glaive closing in. And that Whoa. is lovely. Looking threatening are the Danes here. This is good stuff now, and, and after we had the early stage of this where they played passive behind those smoke walls, you can see now they're playing transitional towards the top of the ramp and just how jarring that can be, especially if Vitality are leaving it so late. Now, they don't have enough time to be able to deal with that. Now a timeout taken, conversations being had, and this is where X has the coach in the background is probably going to be switching things up or at least making them aware of where some of these pitfalls are coming on through. The money for them is a bit of a question mark here. They can go for another one of these half buys, but if you are Vitality, you're going to want to start getting into the site, getting the bomb down. This is some great shooting out of Glaive again. So carrying that good form from Nuke over here to Vertigo. They're not done with this yet. We wanted some fight and we're getting it. Much more competitive of an, of an affair than Nuke was. Okay, well, Zywu's into the AK here. Might just be one of... The, there's that util damage for everybody playing at home. Significant for everybody other than Lucky, but the CT side, normally the place to find it a little bit easier. Over towards A, three defenders again. Off the boost on the other side this time round, so... Oof, unable to get him up early. Here you go. Oh, that's perfect. Zywu boosted over the smoke, the alternate corner. Needs the Glaive shut down. Yeah, Shock's found Magisk as well, so... Two-man advantage early here. And remember, this is just a half bar with an AK sprinkled in for good measure. They're going back towards the B site. There's two players to deal with this. Lucky and Dupree to combine. And Dupree not opting to drop his smoke preemptively. They're going to be boosting. He's pre-aimed that previously. He's got the early warning system established of Lucky. Zywu parked up to strike after stairs take contact. He's in. And Dupree will go down. The distraction works, but he's lost his teammate. Zywu asked to clutch. He's got Apex to bait. Zywu for the switch. It's a nice angle, but he's Molotov. off. Apex falls, and they know where you are. Bomb scooped up. Now that is a bonus. He can reposition. And they will have to acknowledge that as well. Does he just beeline it straight over the loud and very telegraph bridge position? Hits his walkie now. Yeah, Apex. Th will be there in time. That's a big question, right? Because he did stop making noise, right? So they have to go, well, is it a bluff or is he actually committing now? Astralis are calling the bluff. <laughs> and they deal with it simple from Lucky right there. Okay, now we're really talking. Now we're cooking with something here. Astralis up to seven rounds on the CT side. The max loss bonus again. Remember, that got sketchy and it was just a half investment and one AK. So if you're Vitality, you're happy with it, but you know that you're close to getting these rounds now. That was two openers, though, right? Like, two openers right there. So being able to recover, that's a different look for Astralis. But over on Nuke, when they lost the O's opening kills, it was like, okay, well, the round's done. Let's just wait and see how this one unfolds. But now they're actually getting a bit of bite. 
jump out for Zywoo again here. You can see a very clear game plan. Which is, don't let them have their usual space on ramp. Zywoo's caught one just over Fading. the smoke, but as it fades, he strikes and trades. Masut is his next victim. Glaive pulls Astralis into a man advantage. And now they've got nothing. Oh, Apex not happy with that. He's lost two. He's hit the desk. He's upset again. Another opening kill goes their way and it all just falls apart so quickly. Just by sticking around, Glaive is really disruptive. Like we talked about it, Vitality, they're, they're happy to spend 40 seconds waiting and anticipating CT aggressions, but if they don't get the ramp in the first place, they're just getting bullied, Bo boost mid. Lucky's gonna be easily spotting this one out. They can double swing, and that should be impossible for him to get away from. <laughs> don't need the second component, CT is smoked. Shocks, interestingly enough, does seem to imply they're going A. Through the elevator room. This is a nice mix-up. Glaive's going to be threatened here. Sandbags would be nice. He's just going to advance even further. Taking this fight. Clave doing it on his own. He started this round with a double. He's got a good idea as to where they're coming from. Apex can look him to be his fourth and Glaive completely leading. There's no one that can touch him. He's got a flash for good measure. Shocks is the ace and that's lovely. Glaive. Unpredictable in individual form, but he's found it when it matters most. Oh, they need that. Need Down in the dumps, Chad. They've lost their map pick. They're up against the ropes. The defending champions one map away from being eliminated at the 2021 Major, and he takes that whole round. All five down at his hand. And it started again with a Vitality opening. Here it is. Uh, and then Glaive just pushes forward. Gets these two big kills. Like the first one, sure. The second one to Masuda gets caught slouching as well. And then Glaive just dealing with it. Rocking a hard place. They're coming from ramp. They're coming through CT spawn. Taking all the fights. Winning all the fights. And getting this one done. Half is one. Eight to four. And there's some life now in the Astralis camp. I've seen Magus getting fired up. I've seen Glaive getting fired up. Now I just need to see Dupree getting fired up. And all the boys are ready and raring. You know, an 11-4 certainly is attainable. Look at Vitality's buy. Oh, no fun to be had. The Zywoo Hero AK back out. They got close with this. Two openings. I think Astralis are going to put a little bit of a leash on themselves with this as well. Now, as I say that, Glaive is having a glance. Trying to get that information safely. This is something he's been managing very, very well. Oh, that Molly's going to disrupt this. Yeah, and he peeks on the back of it. Extinguished, though. A little bit of an intervention in favor of Vitality. Another smoke dropped as well now. Sit and wait for another 20 seconds. You're not going anywhere. This is the difference. Over on Nuke, they would sit and wait, and then they would win out the trade battles here. Well, it's, they were getting the openings, and then they're losing out the trade battles after that. So another smoke. No, nope, no, nope, he doesn't want it. Glaive just wants to fight. He's feeling himself, but maybe too much. Zywu again with an opening, but can they convert? Still got time for this. Smoke check. There's two for the cross. This is what they demonstrated they have an affinity for. You'd have to get through Dupree's orb though, and Lucky's still got a full sack of util as well. Like, look how many counter nades they can just throw an incendiary towards short, and that's whoop! A bit fast for Lucky. He's still allowed to get his M4 out. All onto Dupree's shoulders. Pressure mounting from the short position. 30 seconds. The nade's not bad. That will soften up Kyojin and the spray. Apex doesn't finish his meal. And Magisk will transfer into the bomb planter. The bomb now ticking. Zywoo started. Now he has to finish. And oh, Sandbags is the perfect This is place. huge. He just nestled in. Obscured by the flames. Walking up. Dupree might clear it. Turns the flash. And that's the duel. Dupree. An impactful one. Denies Zywoo and puts nine on the board for Astralis. They're starting to believe a little, Chad. This is great now. This is looking very, very good. All these situations where Vitality continue to find openings and then they're just getting blanked on out. I don't know how many times we can say it here, but it's the same story on repeat, round after round.
And that one right there, how does Lucky get away with that? They run out, the guy's got a nade in his hand, he's still able to get kills off the back of it, Magisk one, and then the second through the smoke. <laughs> Starting to look like the Astralis. Interesting stat that don't, doesn't normally have a, a good bit of insight there, but wasted bullets. It just talks about how much he's been spraying through that smoke and suppressing them. We've observed it. Vitality, whether it's nades or the spray, have been really kept honest here. And Zipex is going to go and try and continue Quicker to this time. completely repel them. They're just sitting out of the smoke. The easiest collection Zipex has found. Body shots just chips away at the shins of the French. And now they're stalled out, starting to look hopeless over there in the Vitality camp. That frustration, you've seen it on Apex's cam. It's starting to build here, and now he has to sit and watch for a minute and 22 seconds as his teammates, the three of them, try and piece something together here. Magisk does not have... Too much support. Dupree's responsible for middle. He'll be able to rotate in and acknowledge and fill the gap should he be required to. It is on him. But it is on Magisk. Common clear. Doesn't do it properly and Kyojin's nearly dead too. He's hit the necessary headshots. He doesn't have the bomb. Trying to force the rotate with the util. Deception is the name of the game because Zaiwu's walking on in for an open A site trying to commit this, sell this. They've done a great job, Zaiwu, to try and plant uncontested, but Zipex has acknowledged this. They rotated back in. They know they left some gaps. Zaiwu to punish Zipex. Oh, he just looks away. He just looks away. He's second guessing a little bomb plant in. Kyojin, 1 HP. Zaiwu needs to survive now. He has to clutch. This is a big one for Vitality. 9-6 they can work with, and Zaiwu has to work his magic. The flash ain't bad. They turn it, though, and gap closed. Z Lucky falls. No trade available from Zipex. He's going to sit it. He's, He's going to hold it. it. It's against an orb, and there's still a smoke up. Oh! oh! He cancelled it, and Zaiwu calls the bluff. Chill your beans. No time for this. Playing games, Zaiwu surely done enough. He confirms he's off the bomb. Survival. Is enough. Zaiwu clutches up for Vitality, and that is the step towards the 9 6 half. That's huge. That is massive right there. Sure, Kyojin, he gets those massive kills, but Zaiwu still put in a difficult one to win on that site. You think if Zip just sits it, he has it every day of the week. What is he going to do? The multiple shots through the smoke, but he cancels. He doesn't believe, and well, that, Zaiwu snatches that one away. It might actually be an example of. You know, the, the Zipex uh, philosophy, like he, he's up against Zywu, he's like, well, the right play would be walking in, walking to me with his pistol and shooting me. He, that's what I'd be doing. That's, it's Zywu. he's never going to make a mistake. I don't know, but yeah, gets off the defuse, Zip perhaps overthinking, it's led to five, could be six. Heavy, heavy commitment mid, Dupree hasn't been tested too much here. I don't know whether they want to just take the fight because he's got some support. Aggressive angle. Oh my god, the damage. Look at that. The feed. Chaos. As even trades are found. Magisk just in the off angle looking to strike. Well, fires off a warning shot across the bow. Zywu advancing and dead. And Shox is his next victim. Well handled. Magisk is so comfortable on the M4A1. Awkward bomb retrieval, but that's the least of his issues right now. <laughs> no trace of fire. You gotta find it. Yep. Maybe just cut noise and hope Astralis overthink this one. Ah, they've got Glaive there. The door's closed on the way back for Masuda here. You can just see if he wants to go back, it would have to be through middle. So Masuda with 45 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of utility here, but that low HP, the fact that they have a very good idea where he's coming from, this one is just a matter of time. Outlook very bleak. They're not able to convert. 10 for Astralis. Now that is what we're talking about. This is for survival and they're showing signs of life. It would have been a very sad state of affairs, I think, just for Counter-Strike, as well as the individuals themselves with the history books as padded as they are with their names. Not seeing them put up and kick up a fight up against, you know, what most would consider to be, you know, a an equivalent, a parallel. I think the big thing is as well, we don't know what the future holds for this team of Astralis, right? And it would just be a shame to have them go out in that fashion and then that just to be it, right? To be it of the, the majority of the team that we know and love. We definitely don't know what's around the corner here, but we can take a little bit of a look here about what the second pistol of this map is going to have in store. The attack now 
for the Danes. Look how easy these frags come. I do think that's part of the silencer, like that death in particular. Like, like when you do struggle to, you don't have the map, you're waiting for the call. You see them have a big flick of their mouths looking the wrong direction. Here we go, we're into the pistol. So much util. Like any of these who lose their life early, uh, the, whatever strat was in play is going to be gone immediately here. Oh, but they've given them the space. It's Ooh, up to double Kyoken. nades for sandbag, maybe? Yeah, it could be. Will be a molly. He's going to be in trouble. Hot water struggles to deliver anything. And Astralis in pole position for an 11th early here. Apex has got a lot on his plate and now a bullet to the face. It's coming way too easy. Oh, shocks. Caught walking through, trying to take a ambitious push. Now, Mr. Wu, what can you do? Not a lot. 1v5. Admittedly, some absent Kevlar, but what is that to be celebrated when that bomb is ticking every second away? Couple of clicks and no success. That is a clean pistol from Astralis. Bomb down, five bodies dropped, no one to complain. And yeah, that puts them in prime position to push us to three here, Chad. Yeah, that right there was just no rebuttal, right? I think all that utility, I was worried about Astralis losing a life and then they're not being able to get away with the strat. But initially, once they get those kills and they push them back, the molly drops. You can see how difficult it is. There's the extra nades over towards the boost box and the site just chipping away. Vitality down to a full eco right here. So for them, they're going to be conceding this 12th round. They have to go for a bit of a stack as a unit. Astralis cutting sound early here, not giving up the early sound cues for Vitality to operate with. And that's actually sent them looking in the wrong direction here. They started hedging towards A. They didn't hear a whole lot. Now they walk back to B. But as you can see, swinging back and forth with that shift key held. They're going to get themselves in the right place, but it already feels too late. Yeah, you're about to be smoked off. Whoa. Glaive pockets a quick frag, and there's more where that came from. No hurry. Zipex is going to be clearing through, and the mass murder on the site. Sharks alone. Been kept very quiet and continues to be silenced. 12 Astralis, 5 Vitality. It's been a while since we saw teams looking out of their depth on their map picks in a best of three. Yeah, this is one of the things as well, right? If you go back into a matchup that you've just had against a team, now there's obviously the difference that Glaive's in for Bubski here, so there was going to be a couple of changes in terms of the approach, the position's held. But this here, right now, it's feeling pretty miserable for Vitality, but the storyline is Astralis waking up to give us a competitive series. You can see on the screen right here, Dust2 will be the third and deciding map if we do need it, and I feel like we might need it. If this one continues in this direction, just having a look in towards mid. It's going to be the early buy here from the French. M4s are plenty. You tilt light on. Astralis waiting out the lion's share of that early here. Not going to give up their lives. Dupree tasked with locking down the B lobby. Magis towards mid. This is all just the default spread that you're seeing. So we will hear a peep out of those. Level ramp players, Masuta to slot in alongside for the ride. It's a fake one way. Yeah, because they're already ahead of it, hoping to bait an aggressive swing. Giving them nothing. This is a big aggress from the boy, Masuta steps, delivers a double, backs a turn, Zaiwu strikes, and there is a sign of life. Vitality with that mid-round re-aggress into the ramp, just as Astralis felt like they'd been given it. And Magic's getting nothing done as well. Okay, Vitality, a sixth. We get to see a little bit of a CT side strength. Yeah, that was nice right there. I, I really like that from Astralis, though. Dropping that smoke, not only was it like, hey, maybe we're a little bit further behind that, it means that if you're the gap player, that Ivy player, the uh, scaffolding player, you're not going to peek on out because that is traditionally a one-way, right? So you don't want to peek out and take that fight. So it had multiple layers to it right there from Astralis, just getting caught as they walk up the ramp. But Astralis taking a, a very conservative approach here. You know, they had a bucket load of cash on Magis to go for a bit of a buy scenario. Lucky could have been in that same conversation. So they don't keep the foot on the gas in this one. They're actually letting up a little bit. Vitality need to be converting. This one, it's a gift for them. Great defensive molly there. Stalls out the one-way smoke. More bullets through. Glaive has a flash, which he could unleash here, and they might swarm on up. This might get sketchy, you know? Really could. Apex is about to be run down. Doesn't get cleared, but Zywu has gone. Apex needs more, and he's fallen too. Some weapons into enemy hands. The Danes making a little work. 
And the suit is going to have to be really careful with him. His positioning now, we can't be susceptible to a quick drive-by of a Tech-9. Looking for the gap here, up the ladder towards middle, but they will find resistance. Masuta here on that low HP you mentioned is going to have all of Australis bearing him down. Common pre-aim, Chad. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Yeah, oh no, not the transition. He will tuck into elevate, I think, just, just, just in time. Masuta will go down, takes one with him though. Astralis didn't invest, and they've managed to pull it into a two-on-two, -two ready to impress. Bomb on the back of Glaive. He wants a... It's Kyojin even prepared for this. And oh, oh what an oh. adjustment from Glaive. He is back to God Mode Glaive. 21 and counting. He's pulled Astralis through that oh. first half, and they do it with nothing. Nothing, Chad. A couple of, uh, was it a flashbang, a Kevlar vest, some B250s? I'm surprised they even went for that low of an investment considering where the money was at and then they pulled that out. This is just miserable now for Vitality. We can just grab the mirror image of that first map and then put it now on the French who are struggling. This was their opportunity. This was their choice. Both teams picked these maps for a reason and well, we're not seeing why just yet. Good response and I think we deserve a third here knowing that only one of these teams will keep their lifeline alive here at the Major. So they're aggressive. They want to take the fight right now, the French. Rare to see someone holding this so actively. He's ahead of the Magis clear. So depending on how greedy Magis gets for the answers there, Dupree might partner up with him. Dry. A second. He's ready to fight. Masuta does inflict another 60, but it's pulled immediately back to an even keel. Chugging along nicely. And Kyojin potentially re-aggressing. He wants answers in mid so as to keep the feet planted of his team. Far from planted Apex, just floating now. Interesting. He's partnered up with Kyojin for the re-aggression and Dupree's job is to house this. Uh, just shy Kyojin. The bait and switch. He profits. Saibu hears him coming. Oh, looking the wrong way. Does have enough time to adjust, and Glaive perhaps has to step up again. He has with a double. 23 and counting. Bomb now planted an uncomfortable retake. Oh, oh lucky oh. adjusts into Apex. Everything is aligning for the boys in the black and red. Uh, and shocks, you can just see the frustration. Like, he has an AWP. He's meant to retake that site in a two on two. Yeah, maybe that's doable. But now, there's just no way in. It started so well, they get the opening kill, they trade out, they go for a re-aggress. Two of them pushing through mid to find Dupree. But Glaive again. Stepping up in a massive way. They're running rings around Vitality. You can see a dejected shocks there with four kills to his name. <laughs> Three of those in the first half, so only one here in the second. Just silently hoovering up what little he could. Keeps the AWP in play for his teammate. And yeah, look at the funds, Chad. Astralis are within touching distance of just wiping the slate clean. That nuke will be nothing but a distant memory. And they'll be gearing up for Dust 2. Yeah, Dust 2 is going to be a curious one here. Going to be a very interesting map to see these two teams go toe-to-toe -to -toe on, obviously, with the adjustments of the map coming into play. Well, Vitality... How much fight can you have? It is just that saved AWP, a couple of light upgraded pistols around that, a double boost in middle now, and well, they're coming their way. Masuta, you need to step up. Spots him out. It's a lot more where that came from. Just posturing here, right? They see each other. Okay, we don't want any of that just yet. We were hoping to find a path of least resistance. Just puffing up their chest. That might force them into shocks as Orpia is searching. What can you get done? That's a great start. Takes down the leader of the pack. A hard adjustment stabilizes his aim, and Zipex is there at least to equalize something. That's the hero orb gone. This is easily obtainable still for Astralis, despite that disadvantage forged by shocks. Or does he commit through? Apex is CZ. He's done a lot with that now and wrapping around Magisk. Pressure from both sides. The B site open for business. If they could just find a way in, Masuta's D does connect. And Zip surely not got anything left. 2 HP. 2 HP. 
And Kyojin does bravely peek on in. He'll hoover up a nice weapon upgrade, but Vitality, deal with it with only a saved orb. Yeah, that's huge from Shox right there. He needed some impact, right? We just spoke about his lack of kills and immediately gets two, right? The fact he even steadied, he's aimed that for that second. It didn't feel like he was worth that. But there you go. That could be enough to get Vitality started here. Astralis, plenty of cash right now to go for a buy. They've already done it with very little. So if I saw them go for another half investment, I wouldn't be too surprised at this juncture of the game. They just need two more rounds. Now, no AWP here for the CT side, and that's where the impact of Shox came on through. Timeout cold. Zonic with another opportunity to chime on in here. Looking through his book of tricks is Zonic. It's just doodles. Just a, a picture. A valve. <laughs> you know how you used to uh, do doodles of your crush? Wouldn't it be the opposite of him right enemy? now? Yeah, it's yeah. Not <laughs> You know, he's putting like little X's on their eyes. <laughs> the quietest Zonic's ever been, I think. But here we go. Astralis are going to be buying on in. And Glaive has opted to go for a Mac 10 out of choice here. There isn't a single unarmored head, so I suppose it's more about pace for him as opposed to punish. Yeah, it could be some quickness to this one right now. Shock sees nothing early. And they're not actually going to force the issue here, so both teams more than happy to wait out the early Utah. But there we go. There's something apex through the smoke onto Zip. Finally, they've been able to find themselves an opener here. At least one that can't be traded, one where they lose nothing. But Apex wants to try his luck. He's going to push forward. They're smoking off the elevator room. They want to fight and Glaive. He's aware. He's found a little safe haven. He really wants to rumble their retake. But look at the U-Tel. It's so perfect that there is nothing he can do but accept that they will have that territory back. But for how long? Oh, the nade will chip away. A re-smoke as well. They are demanding ramp room. They are forcing Astralis' hand elsewhere. Is this something going to buy them until about 50 seconds, maybe 45 Look at Glaive. He really wants it back. Is he flashing through or how do they retake this? You can see Apex. He's, He's got very another susceptible. Smoke. He has another smoke for this. All right, this is perfect. Now they might have to flash through, right? Because this is going to deny them so much territory. And Apex, he can hang around here. And this is a position where they might even line up for him. The advantage firmly in Vitality's hands here. And he knows what's up. Might have to give it up if he wants to reload. Yeah, he will scarper. Time sensitive mission. Very sensitive. Now Apex sticking around. Needs to call for backup because they're coming. Sandbags ain't a bad option. Masoot has been summoned. The commitment's on its way. The bomb, however. It's a fake. Yet He's going to call commit. it clear. He's going to call it clear. He they can rotate. Get your booties to be. Shocks has to tuck in. 10, Ten seconds, it's just a save. 10 seconds, Astralis had to spawn right back where they started. Just one man less, and all of that cash cancelled. Oh, Apex having a look if he gets a kill after time there. That would have been nice, but what an odd round of Counter-Strike that was. Just having to deal with Apex the entire time. And the fact that he runs on through, sees that it's clear, he's also able to guarantee for the team that it wasn't going to be that A finish. Time of the essence. Astralis looking a little bit silly there, but still plenty of opportunities to get this done. Seven required now for Vitality just to get themselves up towards that 15 mark, but they can still get it done in regulation. There just can't be a spot on their record. Saved guns are in. More residual util as they're faking over towards the B sides. I was picking. Ooh. Yeah, and Apex again delivers in the same capacity, same angle. And that's a second. Apex has awoken. Puts Astralis on the back foot. They're off kilter now. A safe re-smoking will keep Zipex at bay. Bomb maneuvering back to mid. The nades are well placed as well. Zipex chunked. Down to 50 HP and now looking to walk through mid. Masuta's responsibility. He's in an off angle here. Oh, the boost. Dupree will be caught with the inaccuracy of that jump. He doesn't choose to commit to it. Big test now for Masuta. He gets the early warning, and now with the bomb delivered, he anticipates more, and good shooting. Knocks the head off of Dupree. Vitality to start to close this gap. Astralis, it was looking like it was going to be a void, a giant gaping chasm between the two. Now perhaps not so much. It was 14-6 at one point, so let's keep that skull in the back of our mind to see when the Danes are able to stop this and get themselves to 15 rounds. What? It, when Apex stops finding at least one opening kill from his short swing. I imagine they won't 
be throwing the same bodies into the scenarios like this. This was a double from him, and Masuta just confirms the round a nice second as well. It is wild in the way that Apex does it. He definitely does it like an older player, right? Because a lot of these younger guys would be jiggling on that. Apex just swings, right? He's giving them wide swings every single time. <laughs> But we've seen them win around with pistols before, and maybe they're going for the same glaive with the same flash. This time Apex isn't up close, and oh, they're going to lock him down. Zyra with oh, damage. Oh, flipped the wrong way. Thank God Apex is there. He's picked up the pieces. Trying to run with the AK. Dupree and Lucky turn up the, the pace, and Apex turns up the heat. A lovely 4K out of him to pull himself and his team back to 10. Oh, didn't get off, caught off guard that time, right? That was the same round that we've already seen Astralis win in this game, right? And they were able to quickly run down Apex and Zawu over towards A. This time round, not the case. And maybe starting to get a little bit worried here, Glaive. Four more rounds until Vitality tie this one up. And the CT lockdown is starting to warm on up. Oh, his nade gets one assist there as part of that. But Apex, great stuff from him. He's really coming alive on this CT side. The timeout called the second for Astralis here. This was looking destined for the third map now. I guess that's in question. No AWP for the CT side. More than happy just to rock and roll with the rifles. Lucky the same. He's just bought on into an AK. The last man to purchase in the server. But is there going to be an all-in from Astralis? The only time we've really seen the all-ins is when it's just been down to the low pistols. We haven't seen them necessarily just go all-in with the AKs. They've just been the constant posturing. And it seems like there's quite a committee now in terms of the discussion and where they want this one to end. What worked? What didn't? What's the problem? They're all having the discussion. Zywu, rinse, repeat, calls it clear. Smoked off now. You can see the potency of that smoke displayed by... Zywu's POV, Glaive trying to disrespect it. They check it. That trade is crucial, but immediately Zipex pulls Astralis into the two man. To the good. Glaive gone. Spots one on the cross. Masuta's got a lot here, and he's just staring at the gray screen. You can see a perfect incendiary. Now that will buy time. Bombs wrapping around short side. Kyoji's playing with fire here, and Lucky's been humbled a little. Down to 30. Bomb to be planted is undeniable. Angle from Shocks. Or rather, Magis gone to Shocks is perfect, and this is Astralis breaking through. All it took was that battle early. The trades contesting for ramp control. They hug the close wall. 15 secured. Vertigo. Vitality's pick. And now they have to have a perfect five round run. That right there, you were bang on in terms of that close wall. So because of the fights that have been taken, right, they're always looking to slow down that one way. You could see Apex as Molotov was to deal with that, the bullets that Zyra was throwing through, and then the fact that they just call the bluff, they walk through the smoke, they trot on up that left-hand side. Zyra goes down, sure, Apex gets a trade, but it's just not enough. And I was talking about all-ins. There were so many more Astralis bodies there to take that A site this time, and they weren't backing away from the fight. Orbs out this time for Zywood, but they're walking B into Shox, who has a big green as well. Oh, he really could do it all. And he's been baited. That's the switch up, and Kyojin doesn't deliver. Thankfully, Shox is still firing. Keeps Dupree down and out. Forced to reposition. A lot of pressure on the shoulders here of Richard. And he'll pause. Glaive's got the smoke. He's not going to drop it. That's for Jens. Magisk is in this. Off angle, could have caught him had he mantled the sandbags. That is the bomb there. Still looking like they want to go B. They... Oh, might even spot him in the blind spot here, Shocks. Pins pulled. Trajectory, indicative. Needs a shot, needs to fall away. He's not being given it through the flames. He does look to strike. Magisk again contributes. A big opening. Masuta's rotated in in time. The double is perfect. The third is even better. It puts Lucky into a doable clutch and he's got time to work his magic. Safe? Oh no, he's not. Cancel. Has to play on and looking for trouble. Apex is playing a very passive game here. He'll activate once that bomb is down. Not letting Lucky isolate the 1v1. Look at their stance. He'll confirm it now with the Molly and the plan. A fake again. Will Apex fall for it? No, the shots confirm his suspicions. Now he crawls and the denial is likely. Vitality say play on. 
and they can thank Masuda for that. Huge from Masuda right there. Massive, massive triple kill on the way in the door right there. Kyojin goes down with nothing. Shox gets only one for his trouble right there, but Masuda stepping up in a pressure moment. 15 to 11 now. Get to the business end here of this second map of play. And every single moment you have like that where a player steps up and does exactly this, considering how drawn out a lot of these fights are, it's round winning. You can't put it any other way. Lucky does his best in another clutch scenario, but here we go. Conservative from Astralis in this one. Money again in a decent position to, to justify a buy, but they want to keep it a little bit light on. The AK for Magis, there you go. Apex down. Opening kill, just four more to find, and Zygul's uh -oh. stuck in no man's oh, land. He's in the wide open. He stands, gets away with murder. And allowed to reposition as well. Wow, the round could have been over if they'd have run him down. Looks like they want to take control back here. Oh, just more util being missed. Just missed thrown there from Shocks. It does absolutely nothing. Zywe repositions towards Sandbag. They can't lose another round to just this pistol and the AK upgrade. They really can't, especially for the map. It's a good position, shorts the gap. Oh, no, it's not. zywe has got a ratty angle to confirm. <gasps> oh, he goes walking. Dupree, patience is rewarded, and now Astralis are hitting everything. Masuto saved them once. Can you really save them again? It's two. It's up to Kyojin, the newest addition to Vitality, or we are off to dust two. Zipex greedy. And so a 1v1 established. It's experience versus the inexperienced. Dupree, one of the names that's attended every single major. Kyojin, his first. Dupree's trying to play the clock. Kyoji not falling foul to any over rotations or sound cues. The pressure's on Dupree to plant. Will he hard clear though? He's going in. Kyojin, what do you do? Strikes immediately and pulls it home for Vitality. First Misuta, now Kyojin. Both of the young guns have kept Vertigo going for Vitality, and that is going to be 12. Uh, and that's just some upgraded pistols and AK again, though. So this is Rocky for Vitality at best, right? The fact that they get this one done, and in the fashion of having to win a one-on-two clutch, it's a lifeline. It's a lifeline, but can they seize it? Because that's a round where just the Deagle shots just kept coming. The pain from Astral as it was dealt. That shot from Dupree onto Zywe, he didn't even see it coming whatsoever. But you're stressed out now if you're the French. This is three more rounds required to take it to overtime. That's a game face if ever I saw it. Oh, they can buy, right? Uh, they get the plant. They did so much damage. Touching distance of just completely forgetting about their shortcomings on Nuke. But Vitality are not making it easy. There's so much cash, right? That hasn't been an issue in this game. Sure, there's been a couple of those low buy rounds, but it's always been threatening. It's a it bit is. of a different change. Hilarious to compare how little utility damage Vitality have found on their CT side in comparison to that of Astralis. I think mo the players on average have about 200 each, and for Vitality, it's it's comically low. Double ops again here for the CT defense. And again, they just want to take the fight over towards A. It feels like the rounds could be won or lost in an instance here in the first 20 seconds, but this time a bit more room. No RG Bud, you know, back and forth. Zywo and Apex able to post up. More utility being... Thrown back and forth, a slow approach from Astralis again. And mids the gap they're trying to pip here, Masuta. He stepped up once, can he do it? One more time. A lot of pressure on that guy's shoulders for a, cru a crucial part of the map. Look at how much room they have over towards B right now. But there's so much space. Shox is holding the line, Kyojin. Has a babysitter here. He's getting actually baited in for multiple kills. And if it is a mid to B, there'll be two players to defend. Yeah, and this Molly's doing nothing. It's for the uh, typical connector position, but Suta's playing CT. Oh, oh, fumbles his nades. Wrong time. Does manage to drop his own, at least to buy time for the cross. They can't get through. That was the bomb as well. A potential commitment cancelled. 44 seconds and counting as they do look to readdress and they could be walking into the aforementioned stack. Looks like they're trying to split A here. That would be the right call. Okay. Zywoo spots out one. Zipex knows, and there's a timer on this. They are starting to call for aid through mid. It will be a gap filled by shocks. Will he check? It's on to timing here. 25 seconds. Maybe it is back to B. Shocks considers it as an option. 
They're already wrapping in. They're He's so quiet. This. He's been so loud about this. Still puts the bomb on the floor. They're running out of players. Shocks two of the three. Lucky's left alone. No time for this. And Vitality say play on. That was hanging in the balance, Chad. Those few engagements determining whether we even see another round of Vertigo. They pulled them everywhere they needed. It looked great. They forced Masuta out of the midline towards spawn. It looked Shots like they were caught out. Yeah, he was back and forth, right? They gamble stacked over towards that A site and able to pull the trigger at just the right time as he rotates back. The bomb gets dropped. The round gets won and the vitality starting to get this one closer and closer. Two more rounds until overtime here. But Astralis, when they've started off as a unit, when they've just traded, right? When they've had multiple bodies taking the fights over towards A, whether it be pistols, whether it be AKs, they've been able to get it done. There's two more rounds to give this one a crack. Seven of the last eight have gone Vitality's way. It's really been quite the silence for Astralis. Of course, securing 15 in the middle of that. I feel it has to be that A approach again from Astralis. Where you mentioned they tucked into the left-hand side of that smoke, but Vitality, they need to know that's coming as well. It's just on two men in the early stages, this Zywu and Apex, right? They're the ones who are set up to lock down that ramp. It's on them. If they go down, this is just going to get difficult. Shocks and Kyojin back to lock down B. All right. Let's see how that uh, smoke is dropped. Just your lurky boy from Dupree. Smoked off and there pushing. Is. Apex is gone. Zywu has to be the hero. He wants to say play on. One's not enough. It's far from enough, but two might do. Glaive gone, can reposition the swing just a little late. Zipex hunting just tucks in in time. Vitality have got an opportunity now, a big one. Despite the loss of Apex early, they've clawed it back immediately. I say they, I mean him, Zaiwu. Masuta in the right position. Typically the mid player now actively contesting short. A reactionary smoke from Zaiwu to reposition further. But it will give room for oh, oh, Astralis. Kyojin nearly with a very embarrassing death. He needs to live on. Huge gap. Not from a lot much longer. Zaiwu makes it three. A fake plant. Maybe Kyojin gets a bit greedy. The nades are baited out and Zipex will punish. Looking for a 2v4. And they've got time. Chill your beans. It's lucky and zip. Two very different ends of the Counter Strike spectrum. Nades very light on. Only the B player. That was shocks and is shocks. Bomb planted. No wall bang out of Zywu. As soon as they get there after plant positions, there's a world where they can wrap it up. Right now, shocks is coming back for the ramp flank. He'll have a chance. And down goes Zywu. Couple more clicks required. Zipex and Lucky recovering for Astralis, trying to force Dust 2. It's for survival at the major. Kyojin so low, but nearly burnt to a crisp. He's looking the wrong way. Oh, backpack spotted. He's got to play this oh! well. That's something. It's up to Lucky to save Astralis. He can finish it right here and now. The bait. He calls the bluff. The, the shot fires the bullets. He's got to hold it now. Lucky just needs to click on the head. And shocks. He's doing it with the defuse. He says play on. Nine kills. 29 rounds, but the defuse has saved Vitality. Oh, Lucky may need an extra 10 seconds after that one. Oh, dearie me. They've uh, almost snatched it away. That's gonna hurt. Oh, no. Just the way the last string of rounds have gone. It's 15-14. The timeout's called from the French. They're taking a moment to take a bit of a deep breath here. They've almost pulled off this comeback. They're almost taking us to overtime here. They're not giving up. That was theirs. Pulled across the line by shocks. A couple of stray bullets on the first fake gets Lucky's paranoia fueled. A little late to start his engagement on the taps, doesn't find the initial connection, and yeah, it's gonna hurt. Last round of regulation, folks. Astralis have been sitting on 15 for some time now. They got everything they needed, the opening. It, it's the way that they've been getting into these rounds, but here's Zywu, two quick ones, the third as well. It looks like he's done enough when he's lonesome here, but they actually get it back in. Oh, almost, almost. You can see the shots from Lucky. They're so close. Shock's getting tapped away. There's nothing he could do, but we're back into play here, and it's towards middle. They're up the ladder. They're slinking through. The gap's being found. Masuda to receive, and he needs to hit the shot. He's got one. Masuda can't get the second. Lucky's found the trade. They have mid. This rap and B is going to hurt. Kyojin has to respond. He's responsible for a whole lot here, but already Magis catches them. That's the bomb carrier. They can wrap in. It's all on shocks. Again. He extended play once. 
He will be cleared. Takes one for his troubles. A second onto Lucky. A huge delivery. Two on two. OT looms. Magis to plant. Zaiwu partnered up. They have a smoke. They have the kit. Magisk hunted, does deliver the headshot necessary, swing in out, confirms Zaiwu's position, it's up to Zaiwu to force the OT and he does flash off, profits for the first and AK to work his magic but Dupree proactive, we're going to 3-0.